Um, hello, I'm Chrissy Mahan, um, and I'm talking today about the movie, the parody that I made of the movie Carol. I'm 53 years old, um, and I take care of my mother. Um, so I think about women over the age of 50 a lot and try to include concerns of older people and people with disabilities in, uh, in the movies that I make. Um, thinking about and making the kinds of movies that I've made for a while now, I think the worst possible outcome of this um, time would be for things to return to normal. Because I, I hope that this can be a beginning of everyone, you know, stepping up their game and doing a much better job with accessibility and with um, caring for one another. So I, um, I make a lot of different things, but probably what I'm, uh, most people have seen that aren't <laughs> my friends are, are movies that I make with a, um, a Barbie doll. Then I also make movies using um, Fisher-Price people. So Faggot Girl is a superhero action figure of me. <laughs> Um, and she goes around um, and tries to point out how inaccessible public transportation often is. Um, so the movies that I make with Fisher Price people, which Carol is one of them, so, um, it's a it's a cheap way to and an easier way to like make movies um, using you know things that I already have. Animation is so computer based, and I'm not really a computer based person, so I use you know real objects. Like I, I just I, I feel like having um, characters that actually can't move and only have one pleasant expression on their face. The, have, for the audience to actually have to like think about what's happening. I have brothers and sisters and we, you know, were kids, you know, 50 years ago. So um, we just, you know, we became very creative with the materials that were around. And so I think that that's one of the reasons that sort of not computer and just kind of using toys, like, we want to chase something. Arr! So I think that's probably what's kind of carried over into a movie making. Yeah, so... It's, you know, exacto knives, markers, and straight edges, <laughs> and, and a lot of time. Make it work, right? <laughs> so, uh, Carol, um, so something that I do when I'm making my movies is I, I don't know if you can see back here, but um, I, make, I make my own sets. In the, um, the this thing that I'm working on today, which is another, another story of, about... Uh, my mom's transition into being in a skilled nursing facility. I spent most of yesterday making this uh, dresser with, <laughs> and part of it is going to be where the door opens. So I, um, just a couple things about my parody of Carol. Um, one, the director of the film Carol is Todd Haynes, who's, when he was at film school, he, um, one of his big projects was this thing called the Karen Carpenter story, where he retold the story of Karen Carpenter's struggle with um, eating disorders using Barbie dolls. So my retelling one of his movies using toys is also kind of a nod to him. I don't know that there was any humor at all in the Kate Blanchett version of, of Carol. And also, the the trope of the you know rich older man banging his secretary or banging some young person somehow who doesn't have the power that he has the movie it just seems like 
what's queer about this? The only thing that's queer about it is that, you know, two people that are read as the same gender kiss or have some crappy sex scene, which was wildly unimaginative. I thought the movie was really ripe for parody because it's not doing anything new except for showing that queer people can act just as shitty as, you know, rich white people who are not queer. And I think we can expect more from films, certainly ones that have become so popular. When I'm making movies, you know, thinking about disabled people or thinking about injustices or thinking about um, women and their lives, um, you know, there is a conversation happening and I just kind of want to chip in my style. I come from a working class family where um, stories were told never linear, they never had a beginning and an end. It would like start, start now and then someone, well, well remember 50,000 years ago when, you know, Uncle Johnny, it's always just like this like multi-layered, multi-chronology. It's, it's really not even a story that has a point. It's, a lot of times it's the same stories, different retellings of the same stories. Or just, you know, just people just passing the time trying to be funny. So I think that that, that sort of cultural tradition of telling stories and, and even how the stories are told with like time and things um, has probably influenced how I make things as well. I'm, I'm really proud that my work has been included in the Women Over 50 Film Festival. Um, I think it's fantastic. I think that the, the team that puts it on is a hardworking, great bunch. And so it's really, it's a compliment to me that I really value to be included. So um, thanks for watching this and uh, please continue to support Women Over 50 generally and especially the Women Over 50 Film Festival and thanks.